Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Motivational Chris, back with another Motivational Monday. And I'm here with my boy Josh in his amazing boutique grooming shop called Posh here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This place is amazing, guys. Never seen nothing like this. I want to talk to you guys with my man right here, a true creative and entrepreneur that went out and lived his dream just like everybody else in our community. Josh, talk to him a little bit. Tell him what we're doing here. Tell him how me and you are connecting and just you're trying to change the entire grooming game. Tell him about your vision. Tell him all the things you told me. Uh, well, I, I, first of all, I came from nothing. Uh, and every, everything in my head was big and exaggerated and uh, was always doubted and uh, plenty of speed bumps and setbacks that eventually become setups in my life. Uh, I basically had to change my mentality and know that what I put into whatever it is I chose to do with my life is what I got out of it. So I pushed myself and continued to uh, follow my dream, which was is to change the game and uh, the way the uh, industry is looked at and is right now is pretty uh, frugal, I should say. So my goal and my mission is to kind of re-educate the society, uh, what our perception are is towards grooming, pet groomers in general, and uh, basically making it a licensed industry because it isn't. Exactly. So I, I want to touch a little bit on, on what got you into the industry where you were at a point in your life that you made a really big commitment to change and a big decision that you're going to go after this and you took it to a whole new level. You got to open up your own shop. You got to um, start teaching people the craft that you have mastered, and you started to take it to the next level by bringing creative aspects into this, let's say, standard industry. Now, how did you do that? Why did you do that? And how much did creative expression of you know your past or your tribulations affect how you were willing to rebel against this industry? Uh, I'll start by answering your question by saying uh, the graveyard is richest place in the world. Uh, there are so many ideas that are in the ground that were never attempted, tried, or pursued. Uh, so it's a simple way of thinking as all the ideas, you just make a reality. Instead of uh, creating this imagination in your head, it's really possible. It's whatever it is that you're thinking is possible. You just have to uh, Plan it out, do it. it. Uh, so how I did it uh, was, uh, like I said earlier, was my mentality, uh, which the most important thing to me was money. So everybody wants money. We all want to be successful. We all, we all want to be good money. And the problem that we face is we want that money fast. We want it now. And every decision we make is towards uh, immediate income. Yeah. And we never think about what the prolonged or the longevity of the income is. So we make decisions off the jump yeah. on what we're doing right now and what's gonna get us by right now instead of what's gonna really make us the most successful that we can be, which is, yeah. so let's forget about the money and like I say, whatever idea it is, you could wanna knit sweaters or put stickers on cars and, and, and make that a career if that's what you live, eat, sleep, and breathe, and you face that and you focus on the money later, gotcha. and the money will come. As right? an investment, basically. A, as an investment, as an idea, anything in your head, you have to forget about the amount of income or the money you're going to generate now, next month, or next year. You have to think about the amount of income that you're going to make if you stick to this if you conquer through it, yeah. because everyone has the same setbacks. What sets us apart is uh, whether you giving up, and I don't. Mm -hmm. So that's the only difference between you, I, or him, or anyone else, is so, the fact of giving up or not even attempting these, these ideas that we have in our head. Got you, so what was an example of something that you felt like you were at a point where you were gonna give up? 
Um, I talk I talk a lot to the Dreamer community about my experience where I've been in very tough trial and tribulations. I've lost people that I love, and it's literally made me go 360, like not know where the hell I am type of thing. And I've been able to find myself through like, you know, friends or family that are building and, and keeping that positive mindset. What were some of the things when you were at that trouble moment where like some situations for me were as deep as even thinking about suicide for myself? Mm -hmm. So that times where you were at that level where you didn't see a way out, you know what I mean? And then how did you overcome that moment? Uh, by seeking out to the right people and having the right people around you because uh, uh, misery loves company. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're surrounded by people who are negative and people who are not on the same vision or track that you're on, it's a setback for you. And in reality, it becomes a setback. But if you're involved with the right people, you surround yourself by successful people, uh, people who, whether they agree with your opinion, idea, or endeavor, they support you. Whether they agree with your idea or not. So these are the people that you have to... And, and for me, it was... Uh, was that cusp of forgetting about the money. Mm -hmm. And I realized that every set back was a setup. Now understanding wow. that at the time I like that. <laughs> was difficult. And say that one more time, say that one more every, time. Please. Every set back is a setup. Man. It's, it's guaranteed a setup. It's setting you up for the next task. It, it might be a different task. It might be something that has nothing to do with it but you gained your knowledge through that experience or that failure. And no successful person out there is, is successful without failure. Exactly. They, they failed over and over and over again. And what you see and what we hear is uh, they do these amazing things, but what you don't hear is all the things that you, that they the uh, back failed. Yeah. Right? So there's a lot of uh, majority of Almost, there's no one that hasn't yeah, failed. There's no one that hasn't <laughs> failed. You know, it's, it's a miracle yeah. to be successful in this society without a failure or, yeah. or without being born into and inherited. And even those, whether money is frugal or not, it's failure is failure and it's there. It's how we fix yeah. it, you know, how we deal with that. Now, I have a question in terms of a community. What we're trying to build here is a positive community where people are trying to be not the norm. They're trying to be the outspoken ones and those outthinkers, those dreamers that really want those lavish things. Mm -hmm. Now, as a 24-year-old looking at you as a 27-year-old and you have your own business, an amazing car, you living in the beautiful weather out here, you inspire me to go harder so I could be there and get to where, where you at, you know what I mean? So that's the type of motivation um, I want to give to them. So if I had one question to you, it would be, if you had to make an even more perfect vision of your life moving forward, let's say five years from now, mm -hmm. what would that daydream be? What would be like, all right, now I got, it. is for Lauderdale enough? Is What's next? You know what I mean? So give me, paint that vision for me. Well, I always try to be as humble as possible. Uh, at, at the same time, uh, create bigger dreams, uh, exactly. more of a, uh, as we would say, impossible but possible tasks. So every task that you give yourself has to be, uh, be more challenging every time. Uh, and at the same time, you have to be humble so and be grateful for everything uh, that comes your way. So for me, what the vision for me is and what my, if I can sum it up in one sentence on what my goal is, period, five years, a year, next month, if I can have it, is be able uh, to wake up and not worry about a lot of things that uh, we kind of think as a normal way of life nowadays, yeah. which is how are we going to pay the bills, where is this going to come from, uh, can we afford insurance, yeah. uh, life insurance, who the president is uh, due to our amount of income, exactly. where we are, these are normal things that we live by on a day-to-day -day basis subconsciously that it's my ultimate goal and dream is mm -hmm. to not be able, is to not worry about those. Not be affected by I don't have to be filthy rich exactly. uh, to not worry about bills and and, exactly. and focus on family and life and enjoying uh, the, the fruitful things that uh, we get every day that a lot of people don't get. So it's kind of an answer to your other question.
question is every time you hit that, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I have nowhere to go, and my idea just blew up in my face, it's, you have to look at the glass half full, like how bad is it really, you know? And then how many other people have it far worse than you do? And how many people would be grateful to you be around the people you are around, better yet, able to execute what it is that you're thinking? Mm -hmm. I want to say, like last week I was talking about traveling, I was in Atlanta, now I'm out here in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and seeing the different cultures, the way people vibe with each other, the different slangs, everything gives you a different perspective, you know what I mean? Like, just being out here, being able to go and have dinner with you at, by, by the beach, hanging out, everything's a tiki bar style, like, I don't got that back home, so it gives me that different vibe, the palm trees, the common effect, you know what I mean? So. That is really a big component. And I feel, because you do a lot of traveling yourself, you go on tour with the grooming stuff and you do all that stuff, so you get to experience all these cultures and I'm sure you agree with me that when you come back home, it gives you a whole new life. It gives you a whole new vision and a whole new way to interact with things that might have been ordinary mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I really just want to thank you for, ha for ha being here on the Motivational Monday with me. Uh, this is another episode. Uh, we got dream hoodies and caps available on idaydream.us. This is Posh right here, the canine boudoir. 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 And this man is, is, is an inspiration to all of us in the dreamer community. And he's going to be getting a free mixtape, a band, and be hooked up, daydreamed all out, just like everybody else says once they cop their stuff. I want to thank you, my brother, for being here again. All right? Thank you. Appreciate it. I, I, I am blessed and honored to be on the motivational Monday with Chris here. My first guest. And my uh, first ever guest. I've been following you since day one and since the day we met in, uh, in Philadelphia. That's good. And, uh, you, you uh, are an inspiration for us all.